When we first um, sort of discovered Kate Middleton, when she was first revealed to be Prince William's girlfriend, I think she was a real kind of um, girl next door, um, real um, middle class British girl who loved wearing jeans. She was really sporty. So we'd just see her looking really relaxed, really casual um, and often wearing a nice dress if she was maybe going shopping on the King's Road or something, but just really relatable and really like any other kind of 20 something British girl. Obviously, since then, she's been really kind of thrust into the global spotlight as a royal as a future queen and with that comes a huge kind of fashion responsibility. And we've really just seen that evolve since then, um, but in a very um, measured manner I think so she didn't kind of immediately kind of dive in there and start wearing all the latest fashion trends and becoming this sort of style icon she she really was very careful she kept her look very demure very sensible very conservative for a while and it's only in the last few years as she's become a more confident royal as she's become more senior in the royal family and taken on more responsibilities that we've seen her really embrace fashion in um, a much more kind of high watt uh, glamorous way I think Kate's style tells you kind of everything that you need to know about her. It says that she's, um, you know, really ultimately a very normal person. <laughs> she likes to just look nice, you know, she doesn't want to look crazy. She doesn't want to look fashion forward. She doesn't want to, you know, look like she's experimenting with all these cutting edge trends. She just wants to look ladylike, modern, um, and feel elegant and feel good and feel smart in herself. We also sometimes see her wearing these kind of sportier looks, the kind of skinny jeans and trainers. That shows her, um, her side of her that is really loves kind of sport and being active. We often see her wearing kind of country looks as well, um, barber jackets and Wellington boots, these show her love for gardening and the countryside, all things that she's talked about, but that she shows us with what she wears. Kate's wedding gown was a, a real statement of who she was and who she was going to be as a royal. Lots of people thought that she might take a really sort of safe step um, and just wear maybe quite a boring designer. But she chose Alexander McQueen, which is this, you know, really innovative, cutting edge British fashion house. And she and Sarah Burton worked on a gown that was very Kate, but also very British, really incorporated so many kind of beautiful beautiful design details um, and I think that showed that Kate was really conscious that it wasn't just about her anymore this was about her as a future queen and this was a, a wedding dress for a future queen I think another outfit which is really going to kind of go down in Kate's history is the, the gold sequin gown that she wore to the Bond premiere a few months ago. That was just such a huge fashion moment. I think, um, you know, we'd all kind of been in lockdown and uh, casual dressing had really been the order of the day. And then you have Kate come out on this red carpet, just looking a million dollars in this gold gown, kind of looking better than any Bond girl. I mean, I think that there's um, 
a lot of increased responsibility coming in Kate's future. Um, the, the Queen is sort of dialing back what she does. Um, and so it's inevitable that we're going to see more of Kate and William in a much more kind of formal royal capacity. So I think you'll see her looking more tailored, more polished, more professional, more kind of dressed for this really important um, role that she's taking on. Um, and I also think we're going to see much more of her borrowing piece of jewellery from the Queen as well. Um, we saw that at Prince Philip's funeral, she was wearing um, some pieces from the Queen's collection, you know, that were really kind of emotional, sentimental pieces that the Queen had had since her wedding. Um, so I think, you know, it will show the, the Queen's trust in Kate um, through the loan of, of these kinds of pieces. Yeah, and I think it's just all about taking it up a level. You know, she's not going to be this glamorous young royal bride anymore. She is going to be a kind of professional princess with a job to do and that will be reflected in what she wears.